Hello, my makeup loving friends. How's it going? Welcome back. It's another week of new makeup releases chosen by you. And this week we have the fabulous Wilma Fingerdo. Yay! Yay! Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for joining. You know the drill, lads. There would be no episode if you guys didn't actually tag me and stuff. So thank you for doing the hard work. Big thank you to Brianna, Beth, Gillian, Miss Charlie, Trendstopia, Makeup Release Radar, Megs, Tia, Claire, Amy, Buttons, Rhea, Tony Holm, Perm, Chrissy, Wilma Fingerdo, Nicola, Yasmin, Jenny, L, JW, Birgitta, Gina, Alexis, Kim, Missa and Sue. Massive thank you to all of you and a big thank you to my Patreons. And because uh, Wilma was uh, joining me this week, I was like, I'm not going to have to think about a theme. <laughs> so I've been lazy and kind of went, I'm going to give you the responsibility of thinking of things. So Wilma was like, well, Teresa loves green. The theme shall be Queen of Green. Obviously, to keep with our general tradition, I haven't done a fucking thing. You put on a green shirt. I did. You could have been topless. Topless would have been minimum effort. And I wouldn't have been able to monetize it. So there you go. I am green with envy, though, over your eye makeup look. I am I had to break out the uh, P. Louise stackums, the green, because I got the green and orange when I got the money shot. And uh, I love the stackums. I think that they are so good. And uh, I also got a little help from my um, BH pistachio and then i also have the p louise there were some small uh world worldy palettes that had a, a compass on them and there was a green one that was like for the longest time 17 dollars. so that's that's all the green that I, I i i promised myself this year i would be using stuff and i can't believe i've had the stackums as long as i have and not used them yet so shame on me and here you go but my gorgeous patreons have also adhered to the theme because one of us has to so i'm going to show you guys their pictures now But we have a couple of things to talk about. The first thing is actually MAC. And this seems to have just come in like UK, Ireland, EU, doesn't seem to have kind of come into the US no. yet. This is their Strobe Dewy Skin Tinted Moisturizer. It's sort of like a BB cream. There's 16 shades and they're retailing for 37 euro right now on Beauty Bay. They say you can wear alone for a dewy glow under foundation or beneath powder for a radiant matte finish. I mean, looking at the Watches, there's no way it's going to give you a matte finish unless you like powder the fuck out of it yeah. but it's nice it looks nice the funny thing for me about this is like who of us have not been putting a touch of foundation into moisturizer for that quick light look i mean not me i'm a drag queen it's different <laughs> but I, I just think it's it's funny that no company has really kind of done this as a product yeah really before this so good good on mac anyway i mean let's be real i mean the the trend of putting uh, moisturizer with your foundation has been there for years I know that for me if I ever get a foundation and it's too dark for me the first thing I do is just put it with a moisturizer anyway and it brings it back down so that I don't look quite as insane yeah, yeah. as usual I yeah. think based on the swatches they look really nice it makes sense because the more trends I've kind of been seeing on social media have been that like lit from within glowy natural sort of a dewy finish and i think mac are very much on trend with that yeah. i don't know if i would pay 37 euro for it oh no what is that like 74 dollars canadian no oh something it must be it's ridiculous yeah i feel like it's very especially when you can add moisturizer to an existing foundation <laughs> But it just feels like a lot of money for the moment. I think they come out with this two years ago. Oh, is that right? I, I feel they would have done better. Yeah. I don't know. I would feel better paying that much for a full coverage product mm -hmm. where I'm using less anyway than something sheer and light. I, I would just assume by nature of the lack of pigmentation and it must be cheaper to make. Mm -hmm. So why is it costing more? See, I'm thinking part of why it would have fitted about two years ago was people were focusing a lot more on skincare than on makeup at that yeah. time. Yeah. And I think this would have kind of fit that transition 
Yeah. Because pre-COVID, it was like makeup, 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 full face, boom, 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 contour, do all the things. Here's your 10 steps to a perfect sculpted, flawless, contoured face. And now I'm seeing a lot more, there's a lot more people just going around and doing makeup and putting no foundation on. And I'm like, oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. You know? Well, so many of the primers even you can use in lieu of a foundation if you want. Um, and I don't think everyone needs to wear a foundation, no. especially if you're if you're young, if you're 18, 19, you shouldn't be clogging up your pores with that stuff anyway. And I mean, if you have my beautiful skin. You don't I was going to say your Irish countenance or my Scottish uh, divinity. I don't know what. Who knows? I mean, I have a couple of spots right now, but generally my skin is actually pretty decent. It's true. You do have great skin for somebody who's not taking it on all the time. Yeah. So, and, and I think it's because I do take big chunks of rest between putting on yeah. makeup because my skin is very sensitive. So but is this product a, a just a, a lightweight foundation or is there like vitamins and things like that in it? Uh, they basically kind of said it is a, a moisturizer with a okay. sensitive foundation, but they are also, I think that they're trying to be like, here, this is a multi-use product. Right. Try and use it for a couple of different things because again, they're kind of going into that phase of makeup. People want to get something that they can use for several different things. And they're yeah. also okay, you can use it as a primer as well. So. It feels to me like they're missing an opportunity for a collab with a great moisturizing company. Yeah. And then the nice thing there is less trepidation to using a new, listen to me with the big words. Uh, but less, less worry about using a new product because you already have familiarity with the collab. I think that would be really smart. To let's be get on it. Who should we call? Yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's make it happen. One because... thing I will say about this is the picture of the uh, different women with it and without it. Like there is just that evening of this. Like it's not airbrush. It's not changing their complexion at all. Like there's almost no change in their skin tones except that evenness and then that glow. So, I mean, it, it, it's a great campaign. Yeah. Like, there, everything's going for this, but the price. I agree. And I. this is why I think this is kind of almost just right for coming out of COVID because I, I think we were at the peak full face in 2019 and we haven't come back to that. No. And I think... Well, I, I never stop, but that's just how yeah. I roll. <laughs> yeah. But I think this is kind of, if people want to do makeup, they'd be looking at this. I think it will do well because... It will. The average makeup user is kind of going to look at this and be like, oh, this could work quite well for me. Um, like I said, if it's on sale, I'll, I'll pick it up at some point. <laughs> but I'm not going to get it for 37 euro at the moment. When I put it to you guys, 24% of you loved it. 42% said not for me. And 35% said that you can't purchase them because they're not cruelty free, which is another big thing that tends yeah. to go against Mac. Then the next thing we have is P. Louise, who just came out with a whole chunk of stuff. And it's all very like, screw you 2022. We want to be done with you. Because that's essentially the theme of the whole thing. She's come out with a massive eyeshadow palette. I want to say massive. It is huge. It's 46 euro. 95 and then there's a whole lot of other like skin carry bits there's two different types of makeup removers one is like a, a balm to oil and then one is a mist we have things like sleeping masks under eye brightening patches lotions cleansers and then there's a lot of body wash stuff bubble bath and body scrubs which is the cheapest part of that collection they're 9 euro 95 each when i look at the palette there's something about this that kind of reminds me of the the holy grail by uh violet Boss. Yes. But I think it like they came out with the beauty and the breakup last mm -hmm. year. I got this in a mystery box. I would never have bought this myself because it's very neutral, but like this, they didn't even really you could still I know that they had uh bubble baths and things like that with this brand, but I feel like they kind of this wasn't having any traction, so they, they're redoing it again because also in the advent calendars, which I know you got the bigger one, they had those little uh love tapes, but they were all neutral tones from the and bridal collection. Like why if you've got any of those, you don't need this 50 pan palette. No. Monstrosity. I mean, this one here is fine. I'm not saying this is a bad palette, but look at this. This is the middle of that palette. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's all in there just with different names. Absolutely. And quite frankly, that's, that's enough. I have the beauty bay nudes and this I'm good. 
<laughs> but like this is like a really rubbish version of the Beauty Bay Berries for me. But like, yeah, yeah. Ones. Um, for me, because they're saying the whole like wash away, blend away, get rid of. Would the theme have not made more sense to be like blue? You know, to wash it away yeah. with water or something. Yeah. Like, and considering all the stuff is around cleansing, would blue not have made more sense? Yeah, I, I, I think with P. Louise though, they've been so vibrant and in color centric, like the money shot, and before that, mm -hmm. uh, watch the Queen conquer, and uh, before that, oh, I can't even think now. Uh, well, the worldly one was their their rainbow palette. Uh, they really only seem to have minimal neutrals for. A company that espouses to being for makeup artists. Yeah. And so when the Beauty and the Breakup came out, it was like, oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, but it also seemed to be on trend at the time. There were a lot of neutrals going on at that time. So this surprises me. But then when you think that for Christmas, they had those two, the pastel and the more uh, saturated colors. At some point, you have to change it up. I, you know, like I've gotten to a point with P. Louise where it's like, yeah, I don't need to see any more of this. I have most of it now. Yeah, I'm that's good. the thing. I think if you're a company that is constantly producing, this is what happened to Morphe. Yep. If you're just constantly doing, 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 you get to a point where it's like, well, I kind of have it all. I think this is why they're attempting to diversify and they've got those skincare bits and pieces now. They've got their bubble bathy bits which by the way reminds me so much of revolution when revolution were like here we're fucking making candles now buy yeah, shit yeah, from us yeah. but if you go on to p louise they're even like selling things like dog collars and dog bowls and stuff it's really the last budget box i bought from p louise had a huge like laundry detergent size of bubble bath i still don't know what to do with it you know somebody said i'll oh, put it in your hand dispenser but it's got glitter in it you know what i mean it's like i so I, I actually haven't bought myself a budget box since then because I'm afraid they're going to throw a skincare product in I don't want. It, I do feel like they're shooting themselves in the foot with coming out with as many things as they're coming out with. I wonder why they're doing it too because no other company seems to be, like the only other company I think that's doing this is Juvia's Place, but they've been doing it for a while now. Like mm -hmm. they've really been like introducing newer and better skincare products and no bubble bath. Like it's all proper ungents and ointments and such yeah. but... like if i wanted bath care stuff i just go to my lo local supermarket yeah yeah most people as you say already have their their favorites and their must-haves uh you'd have to it would have to turn back the clock like visibly on your face in seconds for anyone to go oh well i have to have that because there are companies that only do that and have done so for decades and why would you stop buying that if it's working for you that's the thing. I think most people who are buying makeup from the likes of P. Louise, I guarantee they're probably also already interested in skincare. And if they're not interested in skincare, they're never going to be interested in skincare. Yeah, so yeah. they are likely people who've already found their stuff and are like, I'm quite happy. Something else that bothers me about the eye palette is, are there two mirrors in it? Yeah, There's the heart shape and the square shape side by side. Like, is one of them a window, like on the love tapes? I think they're both mirrors. Because the heart's upside down when you look at it, and it bothers me. I mean, there's a lot about this palette that bothers me. Yeah. So. I like the range of colors. Like, they, you're getting all of them. If you want a neutral palette and you don't have the nudes or the naturals from Beauty Bay, you wouldn't go wrong with this one. Yeah. I think for, for an MUA, it makes sense. Yeah. And I love that it's not excessive packaging. It looks like it's just a proper cardboard palette. If they could actually continue to do that. Yeah. I would really appreciate it. Yeah. Because yeah. these things, geez, where do you put them? <laughs> I could make one into a coffee table. They're huge. They're unnecessary. I mean, we're planning on like buying a house, but I'm like, no need. We will use these as bricks and mortar. Yes. Yes. Like it's. Yeah. It's just if this is a new trend for P. Louise's packaging, then I, I applaud it. But Same. short of that. Uh, it feels very flat. 
Yeah. When I put the palette to you, 13% said love it, 27% said not for me, 60% said that it was too big and it needed to be edited. When I showed you the melting balms, 29% of you loved it. When I showed you the skincare, 14% said love it, 38% said not for me, and 49% said that you needed to know what the ingredients were. And when I showed you the weird bath care stuff, 16% of you loved it. So I think that says it all. This next one, I'm very excited about. This is Lancome. so exciting. I, I can't believe there's nothing on the market before this. I think this is properly innovative and useful. I yeah. like this. So this is Lancome's first AI powered motion stabilizing device. The HAPTA is designed to help consumers with hand and arm mobility challenges apply lipstick with foundation, eyeshadow and mascara to be added in the future. And I just think this is really fabulous because historically when we've looked at makeup, there has been a major issue in terms of accessibility, whether it's the packaging itself. I mean, Rare Beauty got major props when they came out and the packaging was actually accessible for a lot of people to use. But now we're actually seeing devices that will make it a lot easier for people to put on their makeup. The only quibble that I have about this is the price because the price is prohibitive. It's $199. That's what it's looking like at the moment. And as, as I said in a TikTok video, for a lot of people who are disabled, they are also economically disadvantaged because yeah. of how capitalism works. Capitalism sees that you're disabled and is like, let's not invest any money in you. Yeah. So yeah. a lot of people who are disabled don't have that same disposable income. And it's kind of shitty to kind of dangle something in yeah. front of somebody and go, we have something that could be helpful for you, but not for you. Yeah. You can't afford it. So unless they, it'd be great if they put in some sort of like a program where maybe people could like get it on credit if necessary, or yeah. if there could be some sort of like a government assistance on it. Yeah. Yeah. The ideal situation is that they do figure out how to bring the price down in general or that other companies see what they're doing and yeah. competition ensues and that brings down the price. Well, also, this is the first one. So mm -hmm. like a DVD player back in the day. Oh, yeah. The price will come down because other people will go, oh, I can make that cheaper. Or, you know, like I would assume, what's the company that's doing this? Lancome? Yeah. Yeah, so they're a, they're a luxury brand, or at least they like to think they are. So I'm sure that this is made with the best of products too. Like, I'm sure there are cheaper things you could be using, but I bet it feels good. You know what I mean? I bet you it's got a good weight to it. Um, but as, as more companies see that there is a public need and it's yeah. worth their while developing it. With a lot of disabilities, there's an invisibility around it. Yeah. Oh, let's yeah. not discuss this. Let, let's pretend that this isn't an issue for everyone. Yeah. Um, or they think it's such a small amount of the population. It's like, well, it's because you don't talk about it. There's actually quite a lot of people that have issues. Yeah, it's incredibly prevalent. And, you know, we're talking about wild, wide chunks of the, the population across different ethnicities, different age groups, etc. And I think this is a really genuinely innovative piece of tech and beauty i just want to see the price coming down but i hope that we see more things like this of people actually understanding oh we should be etching out a space for people with disabilities i would also like to think that there are people who have friends and family in their lives who would benefit from something like that who would buy it for them but yeah then I think, well, if too many people buy it at $200, no one's going to lower the price. Yeah. I genuinely, I really like this. This properly made me smile. It'll take another year or so for it to come out onto the market, which is part of why I'm hoping that they might maybe figure out how to maybe cut down the price, whether it's like finding more uh, durable, long-lasting materials that maybe might cost a little bit less. Yeah. That would be fantastic. I'm also intrigued by the technology because mm. they say it's AI. I mean, it's not just a gimbal that keeps it parallel to the ground. There's something else going on. So I, I, I'm hoping that it's because the technology is new in this application. I wonder if they will patent it. And, well, they'd have to. Yeah. And the thing is, you know, like say with drug companies, 
they, they usually have like a patent on a particular design and then nobody can yeah. use it for X amount of time. My worry would be that they might patent it so much that out of be, out of accessibility. Yeah. yeah, that would be my concern that they may trademark it so highly that nobody else then could possibly compete with them. Yeah, but I love that the models are models who would use this. Yes, and not like just somebody holding it. You know, uh, yeah. it's it's uh, it's very important, as you say, for visibility. I think yeah. you know, kudos for L'Oreal. I can almost forgive them for ruining Mac. When I put it to you guys, 7% of you loved it and 57% said that you hope that they make it more financially accessible, which is the big hope for a lot of us. Then Chaotic Cosmetics, which is a nice little indie brand, have come out with this Rainbow Prism Shadow Topper. It's a pre-order at the moment and it's $15.99. As many people have pointed out, like this is not like a new type of an item. Yeah. Like, we've seen this for years. For anyone who's been in the beauty space for any period of time, this has been around for a long time. But it's usually been a lot more expensive. $15.99 is actually not bad for that. They've got some beautiful yeah. watches and they do look very, very nice. I've heard some really good things about this particular brand. For me, because of the way my little brain works, I need the colours to be separated. Not yeah, because if you swipe it across the grain, aren't you just going to end up with glittery brown? Yeah, concern. Unless they were like a rainbow, like just sprinkled together and just hodgepodgey, which I think would be a better way to do it. The nice thing though is like if you want that green or that purple, like then you can you can kind of just go for it. But short of that, if you don't go with the grain, then you still end up with lines on your face. And if you want a rainbow on your face, I get it. That's fine. But I, I I don't think you'd want a rainbow on your face every day. I think if they'd made it into a little compact, yeah, with like, and you don't need to have massive pans because if it's an eyeshadow topper, maybe just separate them into teeny tiny little pots. Yeah. That yeah. I can go in with a little brush and boom, 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 boom bam, done. Yeah. And you could keep the price down that way. Like, this is kind of giving me like old school, like 2016 vibes, kind of reminding me of that. Like, uh, and I kind of appreciate that. I like the price, and those swatches do look very pretty. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I would, I would totally, uh, even though, as you say, they're not separated, like, you know, I don't have a problem going at something just in one area for, one color but that's probably because i'm used to some of those split cake liners now you know like it's it's not and if you got a bit of the blue and the green or a bit of the as you can see in the in the swatch it's not the worst thing yeah see with, but, with split cake liners that makes sense to me because you may want to mix the colors to make a third color yeah. for this not so much in the same way that if p louise had come out with that massive palette and hadn't put like pans between them and just kind of went here <laughs> that'd annoy me like I I don't love that myself yeah. that's just me being very pernickety and I know that that's that's me in the way that I personally like things and other people are gonna gonna look at this and be like Teresa what are you talking about there's no issue and that's fine delighted for you and I think the price is really good on this I like seeing indie brands managing to keep their prices down because indie brands usually find it very difficult to compete with bigger brands because yeah. they're not able to cut the overheads in the same way. Well, I'm sure their overhead is minimized by putting it all in one pan. And that's probably that's what they've done. Helped. But if they had done it in separate pans, it would have cost more anyway. So I, I'm okay with, with all of that. If this is their first foray into something like this, who's the who's the company again? Chaotic Cosmetics. Yeah. Yeah. If this is their first test with something like that to see even see how it goes, well done. Yeah. Yeah. Because if, if that's how it looks, if that swatch is true to how it looks, yeah, that's not the worst thing I've seen. When I put this to you guys, 27% of you loved it and 34% said that you wished that something separated the shade. So maybe the brand will do something on that in the future. Then we have Shantikai with the ever riveting Spring 2023 collection and it's the Wild Meadows. This just, to me, screams Easter with... Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's beautiful. Let me start off by saying, because I know there are haters out there if you get too judgy, it's beautiful, but they need to get over them real fast because i follow your tiktok videos and it's these are just stock images on the packaging that's what i felt i, felt I have photos on my phone of crocuses that are better than that i felt like they really dropped the ball on this because yeah. in the past shantikai's packaging has always made me do a double take of like oh yeah, yeah. 
beautiful hummingbird like it's a beautiful it's illustration uh, they had a beautiful one of a panther at one point and this does just feel like they went straight to google images and just picked the first thing that came from that i think what they could have done would have been a beautiful illustration maybe like a, a watercolor sort of a picture of that and that would have looked so beautiful maybe this is my idea like a uh, purpley blue um pinky crocus on a watercolor with like a silver to pearl background nice yeah that and not plastic cool. yeah the packaging regardless of the photo is cheap looking mm. which is again not what you would expect from them i mean even if wait. they had one of those really beautiful little cardboardy things but with you know, like embossment and some really interesting, like original art, then it's like, okay, I, I see where you, I see who you're selling this to. That's fine. See, I think that's part of why, uh, like, Chantagai has done well in the past, is there's a little element of artistry yeah. um, to their packaging, but they've kind of eliminated it on this go. And I think that's a bit of a mistake because it's not like you look at their products and kind of go, oh, it's so, so riveting. It's so different. The eyeshadow palette, that's at $78, by the way. How much? $78 US. It could have fit two more pans in there. Let's just start with that. That's a big waste of space. But and I is one of those browns a shimmer? Is that why yeah. they're exactly the same color? God, yeah. damn it. Yeah, but could somebody please explain to me down below what look you could do with that? Because I'm, I, and I'm usually, don't mean to toot my own horn, I'm I'm usually pretty good at putting yeah. colors together and I'll yeah. look at the palette even though it's mishmashed and I'll figure out something to do with it. You've got four looks there. You've got the the shimmer brown is a one and go. Same with the pink, same with the yellow. And then that that matte brown then can go with the pink or the yellow. It's a good tone. They're all good tones together, but there's only four. Yeah. And there's so much dead space in that pan. When you look at the blushes, like the blushes almost go to the edge of the container, mm. but these, you could easily have at least put one more pan in them. Oh yeah. But like Chantecaille to be fair have never done anything more than a four pan palette is that right that i can think of i'm but just gonna say it this is rich old white lady makeup no offense i mean no offense because you know, rich old white ladies are people too i got into trouble for saying that that i was like well i said it there you go pick on the drag queen but like i just i feel like this is very removed from i mean they've generally had like very muted color stories and they haven't been that interesting but what has really helped them before is the packaging but this packaging feels very like gift card that I picked up at the hospital. Yes. Yes. Or or personalized visa cards. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. And like even the blushes, while they look nice, by the way, I think they're too similar in tone to be They're exactly the same color. Yeah. They're exactly the same color. Like, don't even try and tell me they're not. If they you put more of the lighter one on, it would look exactly like the darker one. Yeah. They could have just come out with one. They're seventy-two dollars yeah. each. Yeah, seventy-two. I think if you're buying this makeup line, then you need to buy that AI lipstick holder for somebody to make your karma balance. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I think it would make more sense if maybe the two of them came together for seventy-two dollars and they'd done like a duo. Yeah, and they'd made one significantly lighter, or maybe well, round it up to a hundred and have the palette. The, a blush and uh, that pinky lip oil or whatever it is. Yeah. Like, the you know, like a nice little bundle for $100 of nonsense makeup. That's fine. Because the thing we have to remember is not everybody wants the rainbow on their face. Yeah. And, 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 and Yeah. But I, I, I wonder why they think the people that don't want the rainbow on their face have money to burn. I mean, and the thing is, I they're never going to bundle it like that. Because even the no. lip balms... Yeah. To get one of them, $55. Yeah. How much? 55 No. Yeah. Like, it's excessive, it seems. Now, in the past, what I've liked about Chantecai is that when they've come out with their collection, particularly anything, they've had those beautiful, like, little elephant palettes, etc. Yeah. And they've put a little bit towards, um, like, conservation. I know they definitely get that back on taxes. Yeah. You know, they, they have to. But I applaud that they even do it in the first place. But yeah, because they don't have to. There, no company has to. Yeah, but there's but, no mention of that here. And yeah. I think the they could have really put it towards, like, say, saving the bees. Yeah. For instance, if the whole thing yeah. is flowers. At this point, I'm just going to say it. Even if they took a percentage of their sales and put it towards better packaging for the next round, then at least it's something. 
Yeah. But gee whiz. Like, all I can think of is that Shantikai, because I'm very aware of the brand. And as you say, there are some little things where you look twice and go, oh, isn't that adorable? But it looks like they've kind of taken a hit and they've cut some corners. It's just The lip oils or the lip balms or whatever are my favorite thing in the whole group. I agree. That's the most luxe type of the packaging that we've seen. But the other pieces, I just feel like they really dropped the ball and didn't make it as pretty as they could have. It just feels a bit lazy. It feels like they had like a deadline. Yeah. It was at two in the morning. Yeah. We're just reminded of it at 155. Or they slashed the art department's budget right before present, presenting it to the uh, CEO. This is what happens when you screw over artists and don't give them their just desserts. You get packaging like this. Because yeah. I'm the first person who'll say packaging is really irrelevant unless it helps me put this on better. It's irrelevant. But there's still that initial, that's your greeter. Your Walmart greeter is your packaging. If nobody wants to say hello. But when, yeah. when the brand kind of makes its name through the packaging... Yeah. Yeah, because that has been their thing. It's like, yes, it's expensive, but look how pretty. Yeah, (laughs) like that's kind of their thing. So it feels very uh, from them, in my opinion. Feel free to rinse me in the comments. Yeah. Yeah. When I put it to you guys, 3% of you loved the palette. 72% thought that it was overpriced. When I showed you the blushes, 7% loved it, whereas 82% said that it was overpriced. When I showed you the lip balms, 5% loved it, and 82% said it was overpriced. So a lot of us are kind of singing from the same hymn sheet. Yeah, it seems the price is uh, prohibitive for sure. But I will say this next brand, the prices aren't prohibitive, and I'm going to be really transparent here with you guys. I really enjoy this brand. Back in 2021, when I did my favorites list, their palette break the rules was in like my top 10. Fucking love it. If you haven't gotten this, get it. I have hit pan on the grip. Me, me, I've hit pan on one of the shades. Wow. Wow. That tells you all you need to know about this. And they're quite affordable. In additional, very exciting, disgusting news, I am also now an affiliate with them. So very exciting. Well done. I'm on their PR, so I will actually be getting this palette sent to me now all that being said do i think this is the most interesting thing that they've come out with to date no No. who's the company i'm sorry i missed it this is it's bell cosmetics oh yes that's right i think this makes sense for them because they've done a lot of duochrome multi-chrome shimmer palettes and mattes are genuinely missing from their collection the first time they came out with mattes was actually in their last collection which was the cool summer palette and now the thing the thing is I liked that I liked that palette I bought it I enjoyed it and I quite liked the matte formula in it but apparently some people didn't love the mattes in that so it's bell went back to try and reformulate so apparently the mattes in this are going to be a bit different I will let you guys know I will oh yeah I can't wait to hear what you have to say I'll compare the cool summer to the the fruity realm palette as well is that what this is called fruity realm fruity realm (laughs) It's $18. That was my drag queen name in high school. Of course it was. (laughs) I will say the price is very good. $18. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Also, can I just say I appreciate that none of the shades look close to each other. Yeah. I think this is a really good, like, rainbowy palette. This is how you curate a palette, for sure. And they look really, like, vibrant based upon the swatches. So Mm. I'm definitely, I'm, I'm interested in looking at it. Would I have necessarily gone, okay, I'm just going to go and order this one thing? Probably not. Yeah. Right? And I'm being 100% honest with you guys. I I would say that I would probably get this if I was making an order for something else. I'd be like, ah, fuck it. I'll pop it in. Just- for 18 bucks, yeah. This yeah. could be the, the, the difference between free shipping or not. Yeah, but this wouldn't be the sole order. Now, no. you can get money off of the $18 order as well. So it could come down to like $16.20. So like it's very, very affordable. I'm looking forward to playing with it. I think the missed opportunity here, and I know that they are working on it, is they have uh, Fruity Realm Multichromes, which by the way, I've ordered and they should be coming to me soon. And they look beautiful on their web, like disgusting. And I, I generally trust their quality. But I think the missed opportunity is they're not bundling the two of these together. 
Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, but I know they're apparently working on it to see about bringing the prices down and try and figuring out how to bundle them. But I will be kind of working with those together to see what they look like um, yeah. when I do get my little gross mitts on it. I think this is nice. If, however, you have many, many rainbow palettes, I'm going to be honest, you probably don't need this. No, you, you probably don't. But I also, this is the first time I've looked at a palette and not said it needs a black and a white. Like, this is fine. Yeah. This it is this sense. is a good rainbow palette. You're going to get all you need out of here. That dark green is and that purpley brown above it are beautiful deep tones. And for a bright face, you can get away with a couple or the whole thing. I think it's for just 18 takes bucks. It. Like it's almost it almost is silly not to get it if you're on the site already shopping. I think that's what this palette is going to be. It's the fuck it, I'm here anyways. I might as well. Yeah. I, and if this is a gateway to color for a lot of the people out there that love their neutrals, Shantikai, old white women, uh, this is a great, great way to kind of introduce color to their makeup. And for that price, like this is kind of virgin on almost beauty bay prices. Yeah. Pretty yeah. Cool. I'm surprised. That's very cheap for a nine pan palette. And for an indie brand. And the swatches place. look spectacular. Like it looks like it's really pigmented. Yeah. Because. At eighteen dollars, nine pans, no black, no white. I would immediately think, "Oh, is it chalky?" Do you know what I mean? But yeah. it, if those swatches can be believed, they're they're ex exquisite. And according to them, the swatches are done on dry skin without any primer. Nice. Oh, so, I, now I'm really looking forward to what you have to say about this. I, yeah. well, all I'm saying is, after this, I'm going straight down to the to the post box, and I'm just going to sit out there like this, being like, come to me, come to me. I'm excited to see what this is like, to see how they've reformulated the mats. Oh, yeah. Full applause for that one. That one's lovely. Yeah. I, I, they're very good for listening to customers. Yeah. I mean, I have a lot of rainbow palettes. Let me tell you, it takes a lot for a rainbow palette to make me go, oh, this one I went, oh. Yeah. I think it's well considered. It makes yeah. sense for the team. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, I'm excited to try it. Like, would I have picked it up myself? Not unless I was going and getting other things. Yeah. But, but maybe, maybe hopefully this is something that enough people with a new indie brand or, or, or a smaller than usual indie brand, where this is the first time they're seeing anything from them that they're aware of and going, oh, that's not bad. I'll go. Because I know for me, I like to go to a site and see, well, what else do they have? Yeah. It's definitely and, a gateway. Yeah. And I, I mean... If they have the exact same thing in Shimmers as well, because um, Morphe did that. They had their Pride last year, their matte and their their Shimmers. Yeah. And uh, I wasn't impressed with either of those palettes. Like yeah. they were, they were all right, but they, they like this. Is, this is impressing me. Yeah, I'm I'm excited about it, and I will be pairing it with the the uh, Fruity Realm Multicrow, which I have bought with my own money, FYI, just in case you're, you're wondering. When I put it to you guys, 23% of you love it. And I think a lot of that is, you know, we have our rainbow palettes. Yeah. Let's get back to ridiculously expensive things. This is- Oh yes, please. Too. I know. Said no um, one ever. <laughs> yeah. And let's be real, incredibly affordable. This is a new lip gloss. That's right. So like, it's not even going to give you a massive pigment. I think they said that there's like a little bit of plumping or whatever in there, which I'm like, okay. $60. Are you a fan of that plumping stuff? I don't love it. Like, it's fine no. if I have, like, a quick picture and I'm like, let's pretend that I had lips. But if well, I also think that when you're putting something on your skin and its reaction is to inflame, that can't be good. <laughs> I mean, we all learned as kids, you know, like, don't put your hand on the stove because it burns. Yeah. Why am I burning my lips? Yeah, I think I got a, a lip gloss or something from P. Louise that was plumping and I had to throw it out because every, I would go to use it to moisturize and relieve my lips and be like, Ah! <laughs> and that's the way I look at lip glosses is to put a little bit of moisture like I'm, in, I'm enjoying yeah. oils and stuff at the moment that's where my time is going because I'm trying to like I'm in Ireland the, the weather is cold yeah. dry uh, but my lips perfectly moisturised very happy with that inviting I would say Mm -hmm, so say. But this is Jimmy Choo's attempt, and there's ten. Jimmy Choo. I know it's not like we know him for the shoes, but I wouldn't be like. Why isn't any of it red? Thank 
fuck you. I was thinking of that as well. I was like, why are you not using your signature fucking colour? This is really odd. But $60 for a lip gloss. I'm sorry. Well, 40% of that has to be the packaging. It looks like yeah. the vial Isabel, Isabella Rossellini gave Meryl Streep. You know what I mean? I can see why people would go, ooh. There's but... a part of me that kind of almost wants to dangle it on a chain and have it be a statement necklace. If it were that as well, and it had like little, you know, semi, well, even just glass sparklers on it, and it could be hang there, then okay. But this is something that's hiding in your makeup bag next to your whatever in the bottom of your purse. You know how much is in there? How What the, the volume is? 5.5 mils. That's all? Well, you're going to run right through that in a second too. Like that's almost more expensive than oil. And I can't power my car with that or heat my home. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting on it. I mean, yeah, it's definitely the money has gone into the packaging. You're paying for the name. But like I said, when I think of beauty, I don't go, ah, Jimmy Choo. Is this your first time doing makeup? No, he actually has like a couple of bits on there. Like, it's not like huge. No. But yeah, there's like lipsticks and stuff on there because I was looking at it because I was like, oh, I've never really heard of them doing makeup before. Um, shoes couldn't be further away from your face. Like, that makes the least amount of sense. Yeah. And if I'm, it were like a, a, a like a, a blouse company that had a line of makeup, then okay, I, I can see where you're coming from. But it feels very far removed. Are they not selling shoes well enough that they have to branch out? Is that what's going on? Apparently, apparently that's what's going on. God bless Jimmy Choo. We should all run out and buy one of these at least once. Clearly, he's help the brand. It. Well, can you imagine if you were like a big fan and you were like, "I'm going to get all ten shades." That's six hundred dollars. Well, if you can, let's just say it, their shoes aren't $600. I think I saw a men's pair of running shoes for 5000 Canadian. And like, if you're buying $5,000 shoes, $600 for a year or, well, maybe four months worth of lippy. Yeah, you, you, you're you not worrying about things like that. You're probably yeah. looking for reasons to pay, spend money. To be fair, like, it's not, we're not that demographic. No, no. But this is know, this goes into the same purse that Shantakai does. It's like yeah, clearly, it's clearly, be, this is not for us. It's going to be people, you know, called like bruschetta, and you know, you know, they've. But also, I think some companies really are uh, cost uh, prohibitive to by make design. it exclusive. Like they don't want everyone walking down the street. Like you don't want some round the way girl using the same lippy that that you are in the back of a limo. Yeah, it's like what happened with uh, Burberry. Remember Burberry? And yes, like, oh, but then where are they now? Yeah. So, like, I know that, for instance, Tom Ford has out and out said, yeah. like, we want it to yeah. be exclusive. We want yeah. it to be prohibitive. And if that's what you want to do, then that's fine. But I am also going to mock you. For, yeah. Like, yeah. You know, I just kind of feel like if you have that money and you're willing to spend it on lip gloss. Yeah. Like you could find cheaper alternatives and you could maybe put that money towards something else. But I will say that is beautiful packaging. Oh, it is. It's stunning, but yeah, they could have made them into earrings and a necklace set and it would have made more sense to me. <laughs> Genuinely, like if they had made it into like a really new agey pendant -y type thing, then I'd be like, okay, do you know what? That's fine. Yeah. I'm $65? No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not for me. It's not for us. We're we're yeah. not their clients. When I put it to you guys, two percent of you loved it, and seventy three percent said that the price is excessive. But do you know what? I I, I gotta say, I love that I've just talked about Jimmy Choo, and now I'm now bringing up She Glam. Juxtaposition <laughs> <laughs> is well. The pendulum's got to swing. Very pleasing to me. This is their Valentine's Day, and it's a limited edition collection. I do appreciate that they've dialed this back. There isn't like an I shadow palette and a this and a that or whatever they've kind of focused it so that it's just like on the face and the lips which i'm like okay this makes sense is there you, a mirror as well there is a mirror if you're getting the full set ah. yeah. so the mirror seems to be only if you're getting their love dive collection set for 53 dollars 99 so that includes the mirror but it also includes their mattly in love long wearing pressed powder there is an at first sight moisturizing primer the devoted 
Mousse Liquid Mousse Lipstick Set. So there's three in there. And then there's a So Smitten Gloss Set. Which, by the way, if you want to get that gloss set, you'll get three glosses in there for $9.99. That's right. So you could buy that six times over and it should be equal to one of the Jimmy Choo glosses. I've Just never bought anything from She Glam, but I got sent their uh, foundation balm. Mm. It was spectacular. Yeah. So I don't like, but I, I, it comes from China, doesn't it? She glam directly. I think so I think so. Yeah. Like I've got quite a few things from them, and I really, I genuinely enjoy the quality. Yeah, everything you've talked about that you've got from She Glam, I, I'm like, oh, that's nice, or oh, that looks good. You know, like I, I've never been like, oh, that's a hard sell. Yeah, like I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't say no to like giving these things as like little gifts to people. Yeah. I do genuinely. Those blushes are stunning. Aren't they? What's um, that dark one? Is um, that a blush or is that a contour? It is. It's a blush. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Isn't it great that you're actually thinking is. about darker skin tones? Yeah. We love a bit of inclusivity. And yeah. the, the blushes, by the way, are only $4.99 each. I think there's some nice shades in here. I can see how yeah. it's very Valentine's. It's very yeah. like muted, very like, I'm so beautiful. I just woke up like this. <laughs> yeah. Also, the packaging, the color of the packaging is very, like it would fit into almost anything you have already it wouldn't mm. clash like even on that level like it's like the the packaging on the primer reminds me a little bit of glow recipe like they have that little marbling sort of an effect yeah, it looks yeah. Really quite nice yeah like i'm not against it. i think the one that i'm a little bit confused on is the matte powder because it they say that it's like a matte pressed powder so i suppose like a, a finishing powder but there's several different colors and i'm wondering if it's like built like that to almost be like an in-house color Color corrector type thing oh maybe May, like i don't know because Givenchy does something like that but it's like with like these little spherical balls right. they do say on the site that it's meant to give you a soft blurring effect with a natural matte finish it looks really kind of looks boring. it does look yeah if you told me that with like 30 euro i wouldn't really kind of yeah. bat an eyelid but it's actually seven dollars 49 like, oh, that's all right. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Like when you think that you're getting all of that for fifty three dollars ninety nine, it's it's quite nice. Yeah. I mean, I will say though, and this is my gripe: if you're getting the full collection, when I'm looking at the blushes, it's highly unlikely that the person who's using your peachy as a blush is also going to be using rose to the occasion. Yeah. So I think it would have made more sense if they had like an option of building kind yeah. of the bundle of like what blushes you wanted. But that that's yeah. Like I'm not a fan of orange or yellow blush, but. Mm -hmm. I can't deny that it's popular and that when people do use it, it looks fine on them. Mm. But I would never use it. But, you know, maybe eyeshadow? I don't know. Like, I I, uh, I like the darkness of that blush, that one blush, because I would definitely use that for a contour for drag because I, I need that harder, darker line. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, it almost behooves you to buy the whole collection at that price. Yeah. And you but, to share it then amongst your friends of like you well sure to... yeah if you and a friend went in on that and you were able to split everything out yeah it's even cheaper yeah i'm not against i think there's some nice yeah. pieces in there am i gonna buy any of it no because it's yeah. not like it's not really for me i have yeah. a lot of what i need at the moment but i think it's it makes for like a really nice gift and i know a lot of people are put under pressure with valentine's day of like oh god i must get her something or i must get yeah. them something and i think this is a nice enough way to do it although mind you do not wait until the last minute no yeah it. it takes them a while where do they ship from china right so they, yeah. they could take some time when i put it to you guys and i showed you the blushes 20 percent loved it 41 percent said not for me and 39 percent said that you don't support fast beauty yeah. when i showed you guys the liquid lips 10% of you loved it, 53% said not for me, and again, 37% said that you don't support fast beauty. 5% of you loved the glasses, 58% said not for me, and a consistent 37% again said that you're not supporting fast beauty. And when I showed you the matte pressed powder, 19% loved it, and again, 37% said that you weren't supporting fast beauty. I'm very confused by this one. This is Benefit, who have collaborated with Disney, because Disney are just like asking everyone to collaborate with them. What I will say is that at least we had Pat McGraw 
Agra a couple of weeks ago do Ugh. a dreadful collaboration with Star Wars and they did literally just take an existing palette and they put a sticker on it because that's shame that's, on Pat McGrath shame on her that's what's come out people have been pe- unpeeling the sticker to show the previous palette and I just think that's shady as fuck but at least here they have made dedicated packaging here so they're taking like existing products the dandelion blush which has been around for years it's been a staple they've taken the brow pencil and they've taken the pore professional primer and the setting spray what I think is positive about this is people can make a very informed decision here as to whether or not to get this because right. they can go onto like say Benefit or any site and check up the reviews on this they can check for swatches this isn't going to be a mystery about what you're getting of oh is this going to work for me or not you can look up reviews because these are long standing products and you can say yeah I do want to get this if this is somebody who is like a Benefit stan and they enjoy Benefit and they happen to enjoy Disney as well this is going to be their roundhouse they probably need a, a new dandelion blush or they might have run out of their primer it's fine I think probably not the most innovative of releases or collaborations but it's very safe I'm surprised it's Disney because the artwork doesn't look like Disney it doesn't does it no like not even vintage Disney no it's like and I don't have a problem with that kind of repackaging because Nick's redid their eyeliner in gold for Christmas like that's fine like yeah I mean I've never bought anything from from a benefit anyway so yeah they wouldn't be very drag ish they're again the very like minimal yeah. like I want to, like I do I like their blushes I have a lot of their blushes and they're great for like the blush I used on my wedding day was a benefit blush I enjoy that I use their highlighter as well <laughs> Like, I like their stuff. They give a very subtle, very put together, very finished, kind of um, sculpted sort of a thing. Like, they're really nice, really natural. The Another issue with Benefit is, I believe, they're not cruelty-free. So, again, a lot of people don't buy from oh, them. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah. I think there, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I do kind of respect that they've taken an existing product, at least, so that they're not trying to go on that FOMO yeah. Oh God, I wonder what this is like. Like you are literally just paying for the packaging and that's yeah. kind of what they're saying. And there are people that collect things for the packaging. You, you know, I'm not going to judge that. I mean, you if that's your impetus for collecting, yeah, uh, and then go ahead, yeah. And at least unlike Pat McGrath, it's not like they've had these things on sale for the last couple of months. These are generally always in stock they rarely go on sale. Every so often you might see there'll be a random like 10% off or 20% right. off, but they're usually fairly consistent. So this isn't like another Pat McGrath case of like, oh, let, we have a lot of excess stock. Let's get rid of this. Yeah. I don't hate this, but I don't love it. I am at best indifferent Yeah. on this. If you've always wanted to try Benefit and haven't, uh, and this is your fir- first go, at least you're familiar with the brand after that because it's not different yeah. you know it's not a limited run of something they'll never do again this is their standard formulas in exactly. a different packaging yeah and i will say it's some of their more popular products as well yeah i think they've yeah. been first. they could introduce themselves to a lot of people that haven't like really tried them before uh they've taken their like popular stuff and this could be what whets a lot of people's appetite yeah. for benefit And considering they've extended their blush line over the last couple of months, this could kind of get people quite interested and be like, oh, I liked that shade Dandelion. I'd love something that's a bit deeper. Oh, I'll go for Willa or oh, I'll go for this. Like, it's not bad. It's, I think it's a very safe option for them. Fair enough. I have to say, though, the the, uh, tubes with the queen on it, they kind of look like a budget brand bubble bath or or things like that for kids. So, like, it's not going to entice me. Yeah. Again, it's not. If I had seen this and I hadn't seen that it was Benefit, the first thing that came to my head was actually Catrice and Essence. 
Ah, uh, yeah, essence for sure, yeah. When I put it to you guys, 11% of you loved it and 68% basically said that you don't want or need repackaged products. So right. that we are. Then we have About Face, which is a brand by Halsey. They kind of came out about two years ago and they've kind of been slowly plugging away. What I've noticed over the last while is they have been making very concerted efforts to make their stuff be more affordable considering they're a celebrity brand. They started off being a little bit more expensive but they've been gradually bringing the price down and they even have their I think it's an AB94 brand which is even more affordable and I respect that I quite like that this is their new product it's the cherry pick lip color butter which is so hard to say it's available now on Ulta I couldn't find it on about base's own website but it's on Ulta at the moment so they have quite a few shades I think it's like 12 different shades and they are $15 each what I don't love about this is apparently if if you if you twist it up because we've all done it we've all taken a lip balm and gone I wonder how far how much is in there yeah you can't twist it back down how weird is that is that just me so it, that's yeah so it's only as it wears down you twist it up and then yeah. it stays there I had somebody put their really specific comment and I really enjoyed it and it was like conspiracy theory maybe they're telling you not to twist it up so that you don't figure out how little product is in it and I'm like oh maybe <laughs> maybe it's really weird so they do say it like it'll give you like a really high shine sort of a glossy bam and there's a bit of pigment in there as well there's a fruity scent if you like that and it has ingredients like pomegranate flower extract and cherry butter it's 15 dollars, so it's not awful for like a celebrity brand it's still more than i'm willing to pay for what is essentially a yeah. lip balm yeah fine brand i like that they have a range of colors in there to suit like there's a really deep yeah. black brown i think that's really nice and really inclusive they have really like bright pink fuchsias yeah. there's reds i think it's a good color range i yeah. want to see what they actually look like on yeah because it's, it's still a bomb it's not a gloss or a lipstick right yeah now who knows maybe actually when it gets on it could be highly pigmented and might give you more of a glossy finish in which case then 15 dollars yes yeah who yeah yeah then i'm kind of grand with it if it's gonna be like the clinique black honey sort of a thing where it gives you a really nice gloss and a good tint yeah. which is kind of what i think this might actually be then i think 15 dollars is decent for this yeah not bad you know, and it's like I said, it's a celebrity brand, and I mean, we talked. Who's about the celebrity? Halsey, the singer. I think this is a decent enough release, and I do appreciate that she's just coming out with one product. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's not That's how you do a it. Liner and a this and a that. I'm fine with it. It's grand. Yeah, do one, do it well, and then see where you want to go. Yeah, and I, I do appreciate that. When I put it to you guys, 36% of you loved it. Then we have Profusion, who just as I started to film today, or as I was getting stuff together, they dropped this. This is their Metachrome collection. Yeah. They have a, I was going to say a lot of stuff in it, but for Profusion, it isn't actually a lot of stuff. Um, no. I feel like this is very well edited for them. I will say I fucking hate that eyeshadow palette. It's yeah. poorly edited. It's £25, but it could have easily been 15 and you would have had the exact same effect yeah they could have all been the size of the middle one easily easily yeah. it's 15 dollars, so it doesn't break the bank i personally yeah. think that profusion's eyeshadow formula is actually pretty decent it's not the worst no i you know what if you're starting off in makeup you want to play with a bit of color i think it's a very safe bet yeah. it's not bad at all the things that i am interested in and i said this before in previous videos it's the eye shifting multi-chrome duos yeah. those are interesting but the thing that i am um, the most interested in is those duochrome liners yeah. there's three of them together for 10 they look dollars. great don't they yeah they look beautiful i mean i wouldn't use them as an eyeliner i'd use them as a graphic liner like on top of my yeah. black eyeliner something to really help it pop but i mean even the multi-chrome in the uh, artitude split liner palette they're gorgeous you oh, know 100 um so yeah i mean i'm not a big fan of multi-chrome anything really but when you have a thin line in there it really does pop it does huh. like i wouldn't really make a whole look be multi-chrome no i find it doesn't work for me i think this 
is a decent price point. I wouldn't get all of it. Like those lashes, I, I personally don't get the whole magnetic lash thing. It's no, not, I don't either. I'm very old school. Just give me some lash glue. Let me just shove it onto my face and I'll figure out where I'm going from there. I think they could have just come out with those kind of duo chromey liners and the multi-chrome duos and that would have been perfect. I think that would have been... I can't see anybody wanting that palette only because if you would buy something like that, you already have something like that. Yeah, it is reminding me of, I think back in 2017, 2018, Urban Decay did a big circular palette. If I find a picture, I'll insert it. God, I'm making work for myself. <laughs> um, but they did a big circular palette and it's kind of, it's not an exact dupe. It isn't at all, but it's, it's kind of given me vibes along that line. It's fine. Like, it's grand. Would I run out and get the palette? No, because the shape annoys me. The difference in the pan sizes annoys me. But I like that this is an edited down collection for profusion. Yeah. Like, it's not... Yeah, because it could have been a, 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 a real dog's dinner for sure. Like, when they came out with the Jurassic Park collection, and I thought that was really cool. Look, there were some yeah. really fun things in it. But they had so much stuff. There was at least... 10 to 15 things in there. It's like they're afraid of just releasing a few products and missing out on sales from other points of interest. There's a lot of like, what ifs, but what if I do yeah. this? I don't know. If they just did something, one thing well at a time, I'd take them more seriously. Because the thing and, is, like, I feel like the quality is there for them. Yeah. 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 They're not the worst. Like, I think, uh, I think. The Revolution brand is worse than Profusion. Oh, yeah. I'd sooner go for Profusion than I would for Revolution. I yeah. don't buy from Revolution anyways. I'm using up anything that I have, and I, I am not repurchasing. I think this is a decent release. Could have gotten rid of two items, but hey, that's just me being picky. What are the price points like? Are they overtly expensive? Or? No, they're not. Like, yeah. the, the palette itself is $15. I think the more expensive things are like those multi-chrome jewels, but it yeah. comes with a primer. That's fifteen dollars. So yeah. that's it would need the primer. But that's I think something like that I think is great. Like if you've got a, a a young person in your life that is interested in makeup, like here, you know, here's a, a, a lot of color to play with, you know. Yeah. I'm, Even I'm the sure. eyelash shapes are lovely. They're lovely. That's what I thought as well. And I really like that there's one set of lashes that has like, it looks like hearts or something oh, on it. Yeah, yeah. Like they look really cool. A beaded I lash. Love. Yeah, I love that. I think that's really interesting. Because like say, Cash Beauty does a couple of things like that. And like, I love those sort of things. And like, you, you're getting those four sets of lashes for $15. Is that the cheapest that you can get a set of lashes for? Absolutely not. Mm. But I think... It's grand. Again, if it wasn't magnetic, then I'd be a bit more interested. Because this is a new enough thing that has just been announced, I don't know what you guys think yet. So I will be putting the polls up. The very last thing, and this was just kind of put forward as I was getting ready to film. This is Adept Cosmetics. This is a limited edition palette that is coming to them, and it's called Inspired, which seems very fitting. It's my kind of a colour story. It's grungy, but with pops of those jewel-toned shimmers. There is multi chromes there's shimmery toppers and then there's duo chrome shimmers a there's one classic shimmer in there and there's five matte pigments now what i really like personally is how transparent they have been in terms of the shades that's there so they've said very very clearly the five matte pigments aren't safe for eye use in the usa based upon obviously the fda but they are safe for eye use in the eu because we have very very different regulations yeah, yeah. so i think i really appreciate that they're being really transparent about it they've said that the palette itself is vegan so there's going to be no carmine etc in there it's 100 percent free of glitter and mineral oil it's a magnetic palette so you could take out the pans they are removable they do say that some of the shades in this palette will stain fair to medium skin tone so i'll have to check that out and that an oil-based makeup remover is recommended the packaging itself contains 30 percent recycled materials so i quite like that yeah. it's available january 20th at 12 p.m cst and it's 68 dollars uh, the lovely makeup release radar who i get disgusting amounts of information from both her and from trendstopia i know makeup release radar has a code it's radar 10 if you are purchasing you can use that particular code to get you 10 percent off 
$68, I feel, is decent when you're looking at the different kind of formulas in there. Yeah. And again, it is an indie brand, but you are getting £15 for $68. Yeah. yeah. I mean, when you think some multi-chromes sell as a single for $25, that's an excellent. When you think that Shantikai was trying to give us a four pan, which had three mats and one shimmer for $10. For the same for, price. Yeah. No, for $10 more. Oh, yeah. Shame on them. Like, I I genuinely, I kind of went, when I saw this, I went, ah, fuck. Because <laughs> I've actually been pretty decent and I haven't bought on it. Like, even through the sales, I've been generally pretty good. I haven't bought a lot of stuff. Most of the stuff that have come into the house has been stuff that I've bought, like, way before Christmas, like in Black Friday, etc. That it's taken a while to come here because of shipping, etc. Yep. But this has been the first thing that I kind of went, ah, oh, shit. I think I'm going to have to get this. Yeah. Excited. Want it? Do I think you could make a whole look out of this palette? No. Because I don't think you have enough mattes in there to make a full look. I think you need a lot more out of that like I would need to pull from another palette or two to make it work but this is my kind of color story I fucking love it yeah like that lovely blue and the lovely shifting red tone and stuff if there was a matte to go with them where you could do like a smoky halo eye with the shimmer in the middle but again I think that if you're buying this palette it's because there are so many really special formulas in there I think it would go well with things you already have. Yeah. No, so they've really taken the advantage of that and just really loaded the palette up with a nice array of their formulas. Yeah. And it's actually quite accessible in terms of price. Like for me, I know I will dip into another palette. I'll grab another mat from here or there or whatever. Yeah. Now, I've never bought anything from Adept Cosmetics. I've always kind of given them a side eye because I've seen a lot of their stuff and the swatches always look so beautiful, but I've never... I've never kind of gone, this is 100% definitely what I want. It's always been like 80% or 85 or 90% of what I want. But this is pretty much 100%. I, I love this. Genuinely. Like, I know, like, for you, Wilma, you're probably looking at it and kind of going, I, you, like, it wouldn't be for you because of all the multi-chromes, the shimmers, etc. Yeah. But the color story, like, just, just on the face of it, mm -hmm. I, I was watching your, your TikTok video on it. And as you were going, oh, oh, I was like, oh, yeah, okay. Like, I love that little red, even though it's a shimmer. I love that little, and that light blue is stunning. It's and then the variety in the greens. I mean, I understand some of them are different formulas, but they're also, they're close enough to each other where you might almost go, well, they seem similar, but when you see the swatches, they're really not. Yeah, totally different finishes. Yeah. I think there's a really nice diversity yeah. in terms of what you're... Only doing. one brown or that poopy color, that's fine. But it's it's that poopy color that I like. Yeah. That yeah. I, like, I can get... I, I'm fine with this shade. Yeah. I will normally bitch and moan, yeah. but I like that particular shade of a neutral. That's yeah. what I like. If I'm going to get a neutral, it has to be that sort of a thing. Yeah. I don't think you can make a full look out of this palette alone, yeah. and I'm actually okay with that. Yeah. It's a rare occasion. I really like this. You could do a dark green look with this because that matte green is uh, dark enough, I think. And isn't that all I really want? No. Yeah, like that's fine. I feel like Adept reached into my brain yeah. and went, we kind of know. That cobalt blue in the middle. Wow. Wow. This is this is a miss a moment of, look at that blue. Yeah. I actually think I'm going to have to get this. And I feel like if I just wave it in front of the camera for long enough, Missa will go on to Ryanair and buy a ticket just to come over. Because I know she doesn't like me as a person. She hates me. She well, you, you, you provoke her. <laughs> that's fine. We have that sort of a relationship. I know that when she comes to see me, it's only to see my cats, which don't live with me right now because bad, bad landlord. Um, it's either that or she's come to see my makeup and the more the nice things I get like this the more likely I can get either her or Tia to come over yeah. or both ideally yeah. um, I love this I want it don't need it yeah. uh, at all at yeah. all I passed the point of need several years ago I just unashamedly want this I have to say I'm not overtly familiar with Adept Cosmetics but now that this is out, like, this will be my reference point. 
Yeah. This is another one I would absolutely be just waiting on on tenterhooks to hear what you have to say. Because uh, I mean, you also have familiarity with these multi-brand, multi-chrome and, and duochrome uh, products. So I feel like somebody like yourself would have a much more educated opinion of how they're performing. I mean, let's see how they compare to, like, say, Cleona Cosmetics. Mm. I think this palette is very, very beautiful. It is my kind of color story. Mm. If you know me, if you've watched me for any period of time, I think you kind of just went, what's this bit of truth there? That's the sort of thing that she likes. Yeah. You're not wrong. Now, because we just saw this before sitting down to film, I don't know what you guys think, but I swear to God, lads, if you don't love this in the way that I love it, I'm going to be so upset. But my friends, that's it. We had quite a bit actually this week. I feel like we're revving back up into yeah. a new year. We're getting ready for like spring. Well, Easter's a coming. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day's a coming. Autumn is coming for the Southern Hemisphere. Yep. Yeah. I'm kind of here for it. Yeah. Uh, but this is my favorite comment uh, from, and I feel this is really relevant. Because <laughs> when was like, I swear to God, if you don't have Anna on during. I love the- Anna. Every time she's on your, your uh, releases and rants, I think I said something about it was lovely to see you and Miss, and she's like, what am I, chopped liver? It's like, no, yeah. no. Yeah. I never see Melissa on. I, I love I love Anna um, but yeah, she's lovely by Mink Manchester and this is the comment that I really enjoyed she said the subtitle keep thinking that Tia is saying toothpaste instead of two-faced and I was wondering why the hell she was comparing the urban decay to toothpaste <laughs> don't put that on your face <laughs> To be fair, I did go through a phase of like anytime I had really bad spots, I would just put toothpaste. Yeah, toothpaste on your spot. Excellent. But my friends, that is it. That is the end of this video. Do please like, comment and subscribe to myself, but also to the fabulous Wilma. If for some reason you haven't checked out her channel, for the love of God, please do. And I know I have it on good authority that we're going to see a lot more diversification of content from Wilma. It's not just going to be Drag Race. And I'm putting in uh, a request because I live... I live for your makeup and movies. So please. Oh, me too. I love doing them. They're my favorite, hands down. Whenever I see one of those, it doesn't matter what I'm doing, I will put everything down and I'm like, shut up. Sahil will be in the middle of telling me like something like, you know, a heart wrenching story. And I'm like, I don't care. You will tell me about your childhood trauma later. Yeah. I sit and watch this now. So I have it on good authority. We're going to see more of these. Yes. Do you have a movie you'd like me to. uh... Oh, 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 Princess Bride. <gasps> That's I, an excellent one. I will, th- inconceivable! Because I love that. This was my, um. okay, so being autistic, there's a tendency that if I love something, I love it to death. Yeah. And it was between that and Chitty, Chitty, Bang, Bang, as to the, the oh. those are the two movies. I, I think I had excellent taste, personally. Yeah, yeah. If you're going to uh, obsess over something, you can't go far off wrong with those two. Honestly, so if you go with either of those, I'd probably go more with Princess Bride. Yeah, I'll do Princess Bride for you. That, that's I think there's excellent... a lot of content to make out of that because it's just... For yeah. me, it's 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 fun to compare like a movie with a makeup palette. So when I did uh, Carla and Con- Connie and Carla, I used the Kimchi Trixie Mattel BFF Forever palette because they're friends. So... I might have to use one of my uh, like P. Louise beauty palettes for Princess Bride, where it's more of a princessy look. Yes. Get a crown on my head. <laughs> oh, spectacular. Yeah. All right. Done. Done. Love it. I'm very excited. But my friends, that's it. Subscribe to myself. Subscribe to Wilma. Click that little notification bell, because if you like this video, I do do releases and rants every week. I know it's such a trial and tribulation for makeup brands, not for us. Saturday um, doesn't start for me until I've watched releases and rants. So many people have said that to me and I really appreciate that because like yeah. there's a lot of time and effort that goes into this. It takes me a while to edit, mostly because I am very poor with my attention and I do get very like distracted by other things, you know? But yeah, that that is it. Do please share because sharing as always, is caring, unless, of course, it's an STD, in which case you got to wrap it up. And if you do have one, you have to phone all of your partners and have all of them awkward, awkward conversation. I mean, not the ones you fantasize about. They're fine. But if you were in the room while you were fantasizing, you might have got something on them. I'm yeah. just saying. 
use the ointment as prescribed, right? Not as needed, yeah. as prescribed. As prescribed. <laughs> but my friends, that is it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Thank you.